Next, we're asked to solve negative 20 is greater than or equal to negative 8w. So negative 20 is greater than or equal to negative 8w. So I stop and look at what I have to do. Isolate the w. In order to do that, I need to divide both sides by a negative 8. Since I'm dividing by a negative number, what I need to do is also reverse the inequality symbol. And I don't wait till the end, I don't work it through, and then go, oh, I need to reverse it. Because really, as soon as you do that multiplication or division by a negative number, it needs to, that symbol needs to be reversed. So I have negative 20, and what I'm gonna do is divide that by a negative 8. Okay, so once I do that, I need to change this greater than or equal to into less than or equal to. On the other side, I've got negative 8w, and I'm dividing that by a negative 8. So what I come up with on this side is 20 over 8 is less than or equal to w, and I could take that a step farther and simplify it a bit so that I get 5 halves is less than or equal to w. One more thing that I can do is to put the w on the other on the left side. So instead of saying 5 halves is less than or equal to w, what I'm going to say is that w is greater than or equal to 5 halves. And these two are equivalent, but we generally write it with the variable on the left. So this is going to be my final, the way I'm going to write the final solution set. Okay, today on educator.com, we talked about multiplication and division techniques for inequalities. Recalling that it, you must reverse the inequality symbol whenever you're working with those negative numbers. Okay, uh, see you soon on educator.com.